Well, while the folks up there near the Christmas tree are celebrating, the town of Superior, Arizona is crossing its fingers. The small town was given an unwanted makeover back in 1982 when the magma mine closed, taking numerous businesses with it. I had the opportunity to see the possible reopening of the mine and how it will affect the local economy. 7,000 feet underground lies hope for the residents of Superior. This once booming mining town went a bit bust when the magma mine closed in the 80s. It seemed as though the town closed with it. Well, it was one of the largest cities in Pinal County. Uh, with the, mine, the closing of the mine, we got population almost cut in half. Lynn Hegley has owned a small barbershop in Superior for the last 15 years. He says he enjoys the safety and sense of community living in a small town, but he needs more business. He's hoping that plans to possibly reopen the mine will help. The mine, just like any business, the mine will bring in a steadier clientele. Town council member Hank Gutierrez agrees. He's pushing for the mine to reopen under new management. He's hoping it will bring new life and new jobs, but also cautions that there is still work to be done. This mining project is, does not guarantee anything about jobs. All it does is going to provide us with the opportunity for that to develop, to develop internally. But not everyone is happy with the idea of reopening the mine. Manuel Ortega thinks that while it might have a positive impact on the economy, it might also have a negative impact on the environment. How much water are they going to use? This is a concern, the water. Our concern is the environmental and how impact it's going to do. But for local business owners and residents like Lynn Hegley, it means a better sales tax base and more vibrant town. He believes both are necessary if the town is going to survive. Once the, the mine is up and running, we'll probably have a permanent employment base of around 600 people. Hopefully they'll buy houses here, they'll, uh, they'll hang out in Superior, they'll get their haircuts, they'll eat lunch. Lynn hopes that supporters of the mine and protesters can reach some type of agreement so the town can thrive once again. In Superior, Lindsay Cronforst, Cronkite News. The companies prospecting the mine are working to be environmentally conscious, and residents are optimistic that the mine will bring economic and social stability.